welcome back to my channel and today is another episode of Try It Wenji where I try different things to see if you guys want to try it yourself. Now today I'm trying something that's probably a little bit late to the game but it's the most popular makeup trend that I've seen on Instagram other than brows on fleek, it is overlining your lips. Now I don't do this which is why I chose to do this on an episode of Try It Wenji but I thought some of you guys may be curious and maybe haven't done it yourself. And if you haven't joined my family already, don't forget to click the subscribe button to join. I give massive hugs to all new members and I also post videos twice a week. So if you want to get notifications on them, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoy these Try It Wendy videos, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It's kind of like a pat on the back for me and I get super happy when I do get thumbs up. It tells me I'm doing the right thing. Just couple of seconds and while I was researching the trend I found something super interesting and that is overlining your upper lip has more benefits than just making your lips look bigger so apparently there's this area between your nose and your top lip and it's called the philtrum and the length of this is actually linked to youthfulness so the shorter this distance the more youthful you look mainly because the aging process actually lengthens your feel it lengthens your filtering because as you age, your upper lip loses its volume and also your teeth underneath and the bone starts eroding and so the skin comes down a bit which makes this longer. So I found that super interesting. So overlining your top lip actually shortens this distance and yeah, gives you some years back. Apparently you look younger. So let's give this a go and see if it works. Okay, so I'm gonna start. very popular color to overline your lips with now, overlining your lips also has benefits where it can balance out your lip shape so if you have um, an uneven lip shape you can use a liner to balance it out I thought I'd just do half my lip as well so you can see kind of the difference. This is kind of in the grand tradition of my makeup tutorials. I love doing half faces. <laughs> I'm finishing off the other half of my lip. I just realized I have this weird dimple right underneath my lower lip, right in the middle. No idea why, but it's proving to be a little bit difficult, but we'll get there. Three other things you can do if you want to make your lips look a bit bigger. If you apply contour underneath here, it will make your lips look, lips look like they're sticking out a little bit more. The other thing you might think of doing is applying highlight on the corners of your mouth to make it look more, I guess, plush, plump. Above your cupid's bow here just to emphasize your top lip um the other thing you can do is apply a bit of highlighter in the middle of your lips to just even make it look bigger it's really up to you whether you want to do that i feel like my lips are really big already i'm just going to tone down the highlighter <laughs> makes it look like your highlights coming from within and it's just a bit plump and it keeps the color matte as well so I want you guys to help me decide whether I should continue doing this look or not do you love it do you hate it let me know down below and don't forget that I love you guys so 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 much and I'll see you right back here in a couple of days Bye! I put my other videos right here for you. <laughs>